quarter of a century old. Wow! Hello there! I recently turned 25, a week ago, actually, which is exciting, I guess. Getting older, woo! And I had a really nice day with friends and food and fun and lots of laughter and it was, it was good. I had, a, I had a nice day, I had a nice birthday. But I realised a few days after my birthday that three years ago, when I turned 22, I made a video talking to my future self when I'm 25, which is now, which is my now my my present self. It's my present self because I just turned 25, and the video was addressed to 25 year old me, and which at that point was in three years in the future, and now it's now it's three years in the future, and and I'm here and I'm 25, and I should probably uh, watch that video because <laughs> I'm watching it in three years. So let's do that, shall we? And play, dear 25 year old me. Hi. Hi. This is me right now in January 2015. Ooh, I look a bit round in the face. That was my second year of uni, so that's probably why. <laughs> I'm healthier now. I'm vegan and I've started doing exercise a bit more, which is good. I'm not as happy as I'd like to be right now, oh, but I'm really so excited sad. about a lot of the things that I'm doing at the moment and I'm feeling positive about the future. I'm also feeling positive about the future. You feeling positive about the future was a little bit preemptive because the time that we've had in between that video and this video it was a bit of a roller coaster. It was good and bad. Some good things happened, some bad things happened, and there's a year in there that we just don't talk about. So, yep. But enough about me. Let's talk about you, 25 year old me. How's life? How are things? How are you doing? How's it going? It's going all right. It's all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, I'm I'm just all right. I'm not great, but I'm not terrible. I'm just you know, I'm all right. It's all right. Things are okay. Yay. You will have finally graduated university about a year and a half ago now with a BA honours in performing arts and hopefully a good grade. I am now indeed a graduate from university with a BA honours in performing arts and we got a pretty good grade. Not as good as I'd like it to be, but I'm pretty sure most people come out of uni thinking that because you want to get the best grade you can. But I was happy with my grade, so... It's all good. And it doesn't really matter. My degree so far in my career has got me nothing. So... Fantastic! It would be absolutely fantastic if your acting career has properly taken off. Maybe you have an agent? Maybe you're in a professional show? Hopefully? That would be freaking amazing. It would be freaking amazing, wouldn't it? But unfortunately, that is not the case. <laughs> My acting career has not quite taken off the ground yet. I don't have an agent. I'm not currently in a professional show or anything. But I am working on it. I have a plan in place which hopefully will do something. And if it goes the way I hope it will, then something will have happened before the end of this year fingers crossed. And I'm also doing stage combat training now. Yay! Which is something that you haven't done yet, but you will in your next year of uni and you will absolutely love it. And then two years after that, you'll finally have the money and be in the right location and have the time to continue your training with the company that you trained with at uni. And I've had one session so far and it went awesomely and I got to play with a fencing sword and it was just great. Yeah, it was great. I'm so excited. And I will be, hopefully, if I pass, getting a official proper qualification in stage combat. Woo! I'd really like to know if you're living in London yet. I am living in London. Oh yes, I am indeed. Past me, now living in London. Woo. I live in a lovely little flat with a friend and we live right around the corner from some of our best friends, including that pesky brother of ours. 15 minute walk to his house and I can just, you know, annoying. I also want to know if you're still teaching and working with kids. I'm not really teaching at the moment. I do still love teaching and working with kids, but it's just not really happening in my life right now. And that's fine. My current day job and main source of income is that I am a video editor, which you 100% would not have expected. So that's fun. I work several days a week as a video editor from home, which is good and bad. <laughs> I don't leave my house enough, but I don't have to leave my house really early in the morning to get somewhere. So that's 
good. It's a pretty fun job, we have a lot of creative control and it means that I am now financially stable enough to not worry about paying the bills for basically the first time ever. And it also means I have a lot more time and effort to put into furthering my acting career, hopefully. So that's great and I'm incredibly grateful and it's good. I like it. And the main thing I want to know is, are you happy? Am I happy? That is a big question. I had a really rough time at the end of 2017, which meant that I wasn't particularly happy at that point. I was I was feeling pretty low, but it was for very like specific reasons. So that's a bit better in a way than just being sad for no reason or like you don't know the reason or it's just because your brain is being a big butt. I knew why I was sad and I knew it was something that would pass over time and it's still lingering there a bit. It still sucks, but it's definitely gotten a lot better since then. And I'm feeling more positive about stuff. I'm trying to keep active, I'm doing yoga, I'm trying to exercise, I'm doing my stage combat, as I mentioned. Things are kind of doing a bit better now. I don't know that I am like overall happy in my life currently, but I know I can be happy soon, so. That's good. And I've done pretty well at this so far. I told myself that this year I was gonna focus more on me and really like treat myself well and focus on what I actually want to focus on in my life and try and get to where I want to be. So I'm putting a lot more into that, which I wasn't before. I had a tendency to neglect myself and neglect my wants and my needs in a way, which is fine to an extent but ultimately you're allowed to be selfish sometimes, especially if it means that you're gonna be happier. And I think being a little bit selfish this year will make me a lot happier. So I'm doing that. But you know me, everything's always very up and down for us. So I could be saying this today and then tomorrow be like, I hate everything. Hopefully I won't be saying that, but I was kind of feeling that way last night, so. Yay! So I think that's everything for now, and I look forward to hearing back from you in a few years. All the best from 22-year-old you. Bye, 22-year-old me. You're long gone. <laughs> cool, that was a fun little project, wasn't it? It was interesting watching that video back for the first time in three years, actually, because I remember at that point in my life, I wasn't doing so good. I wasn't particularly happy. Nothing was going right, you know? It was all a bit... A little bit crap, I was just kind of focusing as much as I could on doing really well in uni and I think actually at that point I was managing to make weekly videos on my YouTube channel which is crazy, it was like the only time in the whole like five or six years of this channel that I've made consistent weekly videos for like over half a year which is kind of mad. I should really try and get back to that, I don't know how I did that, it was great. But I remember not being happy really in that period of my life so it's nice that I now can respond and be like, hey, I'm not like crazy super happy overall in life, but I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling positive, and I'm at a stage where I feel like I can be that, hopefully quite soon. So it was really nice. It was fun. I recommend this project if you are interested to kind of see any growth you might have over a few years. It was quite fun. Also, I'm 25 now. I'm in my mid-twenties. I'm a quarter of a century old. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about the last few years of your life, where you were three years ago compared to where you are now, and if you've done anything exciting in that time, if you've achieved anything, if you're in a really good place right now, or whatever it might be. Let me know. I'm really, really genuinely interested to see like other people's kind of response to this project and this idea. So comment below, tweet me, Instagram, all that jazz do it. And I will see you next time, whenever that is. <laughs> Bye! Oh god, I almost fell over. Okay. I think I'm done. Bye!